One of my favorite sayings in business is from Robert Stevens. He's the founder of Geek Squad, who once opined that advertising is a tax paid by the unremarkable. Advertising is a tax paid by the unremarkable. He's mostly right. Now look, there's a time and a place for advertising, but the most remarkable businesses often advertise the least, don't they? And in this episode, I'll tell you about a very successful restaurant that has spent a grand total of nothing on advertising ever. Is there any food more ubiquitous than hamburgers, at least here in America? What is more common than burgers, like milk or cereal? Skittles? That's eh, probably not Skittles. The average American eats three burgers every week. So consequently, it's pretty hard to stand out in the hamburger business. Many, many, many restaurants sell burgers, and a lot of them are pretty darn good. Competition for burgers is insane. They are everywhere. And this was the challenge faced by Skip Wall. For years, Skip worked his way up in the Chili's restaurant chain. You've probably uh, heard of that. And, and he eventually became the managing partner of one of the busiest Chili's locations in all of Northern California. But Skip, you see, wanted to chart his own path. And in 2011, he quit his job and he and his wife opened their very own burger restaurant in Sacramento, California brand new business, trying to sell hamburgers in a big city with tons and tons of restaurants, that is a tough challenge. Look, I don't know everything, but I do know this, same is lame, especially for something as common as burgers. You need a way to differentiate your business so that your customers want to do your marketing for you, even in the rare instances where you actually have a true quality advantage. And, and Skip does have quality figured out. His burgers are amazing. In fact, Skip's burgers were named the 29th best in America by USA Today, which is pretty great. But that's not the story. The story that people in Sacramento tell about his restaurant isn't about the quality of the burgers. No, they tell stories about his talk trigger, a customer experience quirk that creates tons of conversations. So it's a counter service restaurant, right? You, you walk up to the menu board uh, and you order, okay, I want, um, I want two patty melts, I'd like a, a chocolate shake, order of fries, whatever. And then before you pay for your meal, the counter person, and, and sometimes it's Skip himself, grabs a deck of playing cards, playing cards from underneath the counter and then fans them out face down in front of you and says, and you select a card. And if you get a joker, your entire meal is free, whether you've ordered for just yourself or an entire soccer team. Now, if you don't win, the card becomes your order number and they call out you know, jack of clubs or what have you when your food is actually ready. Now, about four people a day win this game. And when they win, they go bat shit crazy. Right? They're taking patty melt selfies and they're calling their mom crying and they're telling their friends and they're putting reviews on Yelp and TripAdvisor, which is just online word of mouth, right? Every review on TripAdvisor is just online word of mouth. And whether you win or you lose the game, it is an experience. And it's an experience that isn't offered anywhere else. So it becomes the story that customers tell. And they do. They tell it over and over and over and over and over again. So much so that even though the restaurant sign is large and unmistakable in Sacramento, a lot of people call it that Joker restaurant. And that's why this little family restaurant has spent a grand total of nothing on advertising since the day they opened. It's called Skip's Kitchen. In the next episode of the show, you will learn about a manufacturer that completely overhauled their marketing strategy. They abandoned print advertising entirely in favor of an amazing talk trigger starring a guy named Kurt. To never miss an episode, subscribe right now on YouTube. You can also get this show as a podcast. A lot of people are listening to the podcast. Thanks very much. I appreciate you. You can find it too. Just uh, go wherever you get your audio. Search for Talk Triggers and you'll find the talk. It. You'll find the, uh, find the new episodes. And also go to talktriggersshow.com. That's the YouTube playlist. 
Uh, if you'd like help with coming up with your own talk trigger, let me know. Just find me at wordofmouthconsulting.com. That's wordofmouthconsulting.com. And hey, do me a favor. If you like the show, tell somebody about it, right? Online, offline. After all, this is a show about word of mouth. I'm Jay. I'll see you next time. 